The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the book of Job. This was the answer Job gave to Yahweh. I know that you are all powerful. What you conceive, you can perform. I was the man who misrepresented your intentions with my ignorant words. You have told me about great works that I cannot understand, about marvels which are beyond me of which I know nothing. Before I knew you only by hearsay, but now, having seen you with my own eyes, I retract what I have said and repent in dust and ashes. Yahweh blessed Job's latter condition even more than this former one. He came to own 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, 1,000 yoke of oxen, and 1,000 she donkeys. He had seven sons and three daughters. His first daughter he called Turtle Dove, the second Cassia, and the third Mascara. Throughout the land, there were no women as beautiful as the daughters of Job. And their father gave them inheritance rights like their brothers. After this, Job lived for another 140 years and saw his children and his children's children to the fourth generation. And our response is taken from Psalm 119. Teach me judgment and knowledge, for I rely on your commandments. It was good for me that I had to suffer, the better to learn your judgments. I know, Yahweh, that your judgments are upright, and in punishing me you show your constancy. Through your judgments all stand firm to this day, for all creation is your servant, and your servant am I. Give me understanding that I shall know your instructions. As your word unfolds, it gives light. And even the simple understand. In a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. The 72 came back rejoicing. Lord, they said, even the devils submit to us when we use your name. And Jesus said to them, I watched Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Look, I've given you power to tread down serpents and scorpions and the whole strength of the enemy. Nothing shall ever hurt you. Yet do not rejoice that the spirits submit to you. Rejoice instead that your names are written in heaven. Just at this time, filled with joy by the Holy Spirit, Jesus said, I bless you, Father, Lord of heaven and of earth, for hiding these things from the learned and the clever and revealing them to little children. Yes, Father, for that is what it has pleased you to do. Everything has been entrusted to me by my Father, and no one knows who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son, and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Then, turning to his disciples, he spoke to them by themselves. Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings wanted to see what you see and never saw it. To hear what you hear and never heard it. The Gospel of the Lord. <laughs>